Hello everyone, from New Zealand, the provinces of Canada, all the way to the Philippines, and all around the world, I am your narrator, Paranormal Poet, and welcome back to another Spooky Saturday. If you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Story 13. I Remember the Horns. Hello, Paranormal Poet. I'm sure by now your audience has known me as Sandra, and this encounter happened 13 years ago. Yet, I still remember the whole event as though it were yesterday. It all started at a friend's small, two-story apartment in September. We were relaxing and hanging out in the living room. It was around 3 to 4 p.m. in the afternoon, when I decided to head upstairs to fetch something. I began walking down the stairs, and when I hit the fourth step, I suddenly got hit with a state of paralysis. My legs felt like they had just woken up and started tingling. My body got an intense wave of chills. I could feel my heart start beating faster. My vision made it seem like any movement, and I was going to tumble down the stairs. I was in some sort of invisible vice grip. I called over my friend, who had been on the couch. She got up and saw I was standing there on the stairs, unable to move. She asked if I was okay, and I only remember responding to her, Just help me. But just as she went to reach for my hand, she runs over and picks up the phone. Great, I thought as I stood there. I gathered up the courage to look behind me, seeing that my legs were finally free to move. I turned around, and what I saw truly traumatized me. Standing atop the second floor landing was genuinely a demon. It stood a towering eight feet tall. Hatches of dark fur were scattered on its torso. Then I noticed its horns, shaped like a ram, bulky and spiraled inward. I saw it had hooved feet. I got a good look at its hands and they looked human, but they were elongated and unnatural looking. It looked at me with intense, glowing red eyes. I wanted to cry. I was so petrified, but the sight of him must have broken my trance. But once I saw him, I ran, gathered my stuff, and left the apartment, never to come back. To this day, the friend I was with, though we don't talk anymore, at least I wasn't in that place with that entity. Afterwards, I found out that in the surrounding area, an actual satanic cult had been doing rituals near there. Perhaps through one of their rituals, an entity was born and happened to have found me that September day. From fire, I was born. Through rituals, I was summoned. Through your memory, I am immortalized. If you enjoyed this video, and you are new here, definitely please hit that subscribe button as we do this every Saturday. I truly appreciate you all for being here. See you next Saturday.